Dice ir o llegar. Ir o llegar. Ir o llegar. Viajar y infierno. Al infierno. Here we are with uh, Brother Aaron at Obi's Mexican restaurant. Brother Aaron, you want to say something to the camera? Yeah, I mean, um, we're about to go soul winning. We're going to have, the, uh, I'm thinking, the first soul winning marathon in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, probably the first of very many. That's what I'm thinking. So it's a good day. It's great. Praise the Lord. Hey, give me your name again because we heard the note Carla. Car Carla Flores. Your name and just give me one experience or something from today. All right, my name is Jay Garza. Well, basically, I don't want to give a big long story, but we did get two people saved. Uh, you know, it was, it was a little challenging, but despite the fact, you know, we put the challenges to the side, we got two. The other ones were just confused about salvation security, but it was all good. All right. Fine. Give me your name and just give me something good, experience, anything you want to. So I'm Aaron. Uh, Drake. Uh, this is a very receptive area, uh, the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, we need more people to help us go sewing in this area. It's a very receptive area. Uh, a lot of Catholic people here, but they need to hear the gospel. And uh, it would be great if we could do more of these in the future. Uh, maybe a few times a year. Uh, maybe hopefully more people can come out and, and help us out. Great, thank you. Brother, give me your name and just that. Uh, uh, my name is Israel Flores. And we had a great time door knocking and getting some people saved today. Uh, we want to invite everybody to come down. Uh, next time that we have a marathon in South Texas, uh, it's a great place to practice your Spanish. I led uh, two people in Spanish to the Lord today, and you don't need a passport, and uh, the, the plane ride is cheaper because it's not international. <laughs> you can come in here in Texas and lead somebody to the Lord in Spanish. So you guys want to practice your Spanish, come on down to the valley uh, and go door knocking with us. Amen. Amen. Brother, give me uh, your name and just one, one experience or something you want to say. Yeah, uh, I was out here with Eric. Um, my name is Rick, by the way. And, um, and then, like, we didn't hit many houses. We only hit a couple of houses. But, and then we had some shared experiences with a couple of teenagers, which was really cool. And, um, and then we went to the second house and had a really good experience with another guy. And, yeah, all around, just like, you know, just all in it. And it just felt really good. It's my first time ever. So, good. I'm so happy to be out here. Yeah. We got uh, it was really hot. How many steps are you at now? Um, 5,753. There you go. 5,000 steps for the morning. All right. Okay, yeah, well, basically, you know, this place, this area is very, very receptive. You will have no problem with uh, going out and practicing your Spanish here. Uh, pretty much here, people are bilingual. And I'll be, I'll be honest with you, we got two people saved. And I want to say that there's a lot of work to be done. We were, like, just in a cut up in the area. And it was very difficult to just get out because there was just so overwhelming of people who were open to hear the gospel. Uh, some of the times and most of the times was basically Aaron had to go in one place and I said, hey man, you stay here, I gotta go talk to someone else because there's someone out there with with, uh, with with an open door. So I did, we had to split because it was just so overwhelming people out there. So it was great. Aaron, is that your experience as well? Yeah, I mean, 
they assigned me uh, like a couple of blocks or whatever, but I hardly made it. I, I didn't even make it to the first house, and people just walk up to me, and they're so they're more than happy to hear 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 me out and everything. The first house I knocked on, he invites me to his house, gives me like food and drink, and he gets safe. You know, hey man. You know, we're trying to cover this whole area, but we're not even getting past the first couple of houses without people getting saved, and like they're just more than happy to hear us out. It's great.